A very simple way to look at division is just to do the division. Let's say I have 25.6 divided by 8. Well, I'm just going to do a regular division. Uh, 8 goes into 25 three times. Uh, subtract, bring down the 1, just bring down the 6. I'm kind of forgetting about that. I'm leaving that these two, these dots up here and not doing anything with them. 8 goes into 16 twice. And there's a 2. No remainder. And that is my final answer, 3.2. In other words, the dot is in place. I just leave it in that place, put the dot up on top, and pow, that's my answer. Now, what if you have the dot on the outside as well? Such is the case we saw in the previous video. Well, having a dot out here can make things a little messy, so we want to get rid of that dot. So I'm going to show you a whole process of how to get rid of the dot, and then I'll just show you a simple way to remember it. But basically, 1.2 divided by 0.4, that's the same thing as a fraction. That's the same thing as a fraction, 1.2 divided by 0.4. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 10, and you'll see why in a second. Now, we know when we multiply top and bottom by 10, well, 10 times 1.2, that's 12. And 10 times 0.4 is 4, which means 1.2 divided by 0.4 is the same thing as saying 12 divided by 4. Now, the quick way of doing it is just say, I have to move this one spot, so I move that one spot. That's really winds up being the same thing. And this is equal to 4 into 12. So so my original problem, 1.2 divided by 0.4 is equivalent to just 12 divided by 4. That's a regular division, which we know how to do, and that's just 3. And we're done. So basically, having a dot inside the box, no problem. Having a dot outside the box gets confusing. I want to move that dot as much as I need to, and that's what I got to do. Let's do one more example. 3.18 divided by 0.5. Well, I'm going to, I need to move this one, so I have to move that one. So this now becomes equivalent to plane five divided into 31.8. And now put that, move the dot up there, and now just do a regular division. Uh, uh, five goes into 36 times. Five goes into 31 six times, which is 30. Subtract to get a remainder of one. Bring down the eight, like I would always do. Five goes into 18 three times, that's 15, that a remainder of three. Now, what do I do with the remainder of 3? So I have to add a 0 up on top in the box. So I just added a 0, and I have to bring that 0 down. And now I have a 30. How many times does 5 go into 30? It goes in, it goes in 6 times. And we are done. That is my answer, 6.36.